We are regarded all over the world as the most intelligent black people, without apologies to anyone. The Afrans are quite rightly regarded as the most hard-working, industrious, and blessed people to come out of the black continent of Africa. The time has come after so many years for us to begin to reason properly and to act as one. We are going to fight and act as one inseparable, indivisible unit. Only one, not two, not three, not four. Under one unique and centralized command. If you do not understand the art of discipline, obedience, and loyalty, now is the time to learn it and to understand it. Because our enemies are not relenting. If you think like black people in Africa do all the time, they will overwhelm us. They will succeed. But we are going to think like the children of the Most High God in heaven that victory may come to us. Our enemies outgun us on every front. I'm even saying that with the type of alliances they are forming, they may even outnumber us. Our enemies put together. But we are going to prevail. We are going to teach them a lesson that history will recall over and over and over again. This very period that we are living through, this very period of IPOB, this time in our life, will be recalled in history forever and ever. When people without nothing, anchoring the hope of their survival, on the Lord God Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And he heard their prayers and he delivered them. The same way we read in the Bible today, the story, the very beautiful story of the wonderful state of Israel. So shall Biafra be written and read about for eternity. Because we are about to do something that will shock humanity. Pay attention this very morning, wherever you are. I am going to start today's program by reading a headline from the zoo newspapers. You know what I can do. Zoo 9 new AIG warns hoodlums terrorizing Southeast. His name is Etim Ene Okun. He's a Biafran man, but he was raised by the Fulani. This is the man that is responsible for the death of my father and my mother. This is the man that is responsible for the death of 28 young Biafrans in my house on 14th of September of 2017. This is the man that OKZ Bazo and the zoo police have brought back to kidnap, to terrorize and to kill our people. Therefore, I'm going to come to Anambra in a short while. Therefore, those of us in Abia State must be very, very careful. Very, very careful because I have a series of announcements to make. This very man, we are going to find him. I am announcing it because I think that my appearance at The Hague is long overdue. It is way, way, way long overdue because before I do anything in life, if Britain respects me for one thing, it's because anything I'm going to do, I warn you in advance before I do it. So when I do it, you know it's me. I have no need to hide because I'm not a terrorist. I have no need to hide what I'm doing. This very man, we are going to find him as an example with him. 
His name is Etim Ene Okon. I want his pictures everywhere. The picture of his wife, his extended family, his children. We are going to hunt them down, all of them. We are going to set an example with this idiot that the world may understand how angry we are. This idiot is responsible because they allowed him to get away scot-free. That is why he can come to mouth rubbish on the piece of newspapers. We want to let these idiots know that they too, they bleed and they will die. His name is Etim Ene Ogon. He is the AIG of police in Zone 9. We will find him. We will find his family. I swear to God Almighty in heaven, that Hague, I want to go there and give evidence. I think the time has come. We are going to find him. Wherever we see him, he's going to die. This is the man that killed my parents. This was the idiot that instigated the raid on my house on September the 14th. They have brought him back. He went on to boast. I am letting all our men on the ground understand this very, very carefully. The time for us to die has come. To die for what we believe in, that posterity may remember us. This very man went on to say, they know we will strategically confront hoodlums. We will go back to those days when Abia was hell for criminals. When he came to my house to kill me. This man is still alive, and that is why he's still talking. Now we shall take the war to him in Agia State. Since that is what they want, we shall give it to them. This man said he is going to expand his strategies that he used in abduction and in killings, extrajudicially, of course, to all the states that comes under his control. He's a Biafran. We must treat him the way that traitors are treated right all over the world. Since the inception of the history of man, anywhere you have traitors, you don't allow them to survive. They cannot survive. I am warning him in advance. That's what I do. They say, some people come to oh, don't say what you're going to say. Get, out of, get away from my face, you're an idiot. You don't tell me what to do. I want to be saying uh, to understand that he has war on his hands. Since that is what he wants, we are going to give it to him. Unless he is removed from his position within 14 days, arrested and prosecuted for mass slaughter in my house on the 14th of September 2017. That is Fabia State. And I include Okezip as we need. Okezip as if you do not remove this idiot, if this fool, if one single soul is abducted from Abia State by this criminal, believe you me, hell and brimstone will rain down inside of my I can assure you of that. And I'm sure some of you know what we can do. I'm sure you understand that by now. I am this very man. We are going to find him, not just him and his family. We will find his children wherever they are in the world. It's an assignment to the whole IPOB family all over the world. Find this man, his wife, and his children. Find them wherever they are. I take one more I want to let this man understand that we are insane. I was an example with this idiot. I will, Mike is no longer sleeping in government house. He's running from one barracks. I will find him as well. This idiot, all of you fools, all of you idiots from the east that the Fulani are using. You idiots that cannot reason. You fools that cannot reason. Ikune Jugo. All of you, including your so called stupid governors. Ikune Jugo. Shake a boon This is an Abia state. I am going to move to Anambra in a minute. Anytime people come to our land, they kill us and we allow them to go scot-free. It encourages other people to do the same. That is the way the Fulanese operate. Anytime one governor kills and you allow that governor to go to kill our people, it emboldens the rest to start to kill our people as well. We must take the war to them. We must take the war to these people. Wherever they are still in the public, we stone them. Anywhere we find them, we will go to jail. We will die, but they too will die. And their families. Because they don't understand civility. They don't understand petition. They don't understand civil protest. They are not human beings. We must unleash our madness, not tomorrow, but now on all these people that are making our lives hell. The police and the army, they go about kidnapping and killing people. Nobody says anything. 
That is why I despise the brain of a black man. Always gravitating towards evil. This man came to my hand killed in 2017 and went scot-free. That is why the bastard can come back and be mouthing all this rubbish. We must find him and his family. Whatever they are hiding in the world, we must find them. I want all the major papers in the world to report what happened to Ogun. I want them to report it. That they understand that vengeance belongs to God and to God alone. This idiot that is responsible for the death of my parents and 28 of our young men on the 14th of September 2017 must be found. Anywhere you see him in public, you attack him. Let that hell fall down on this very earth now, not tomorrow. I'm not waiting for tomorrow. I am giving OKZ, as the governor of Abia State and the international community, only 14 days to arrest and prosecute this man or else the floodgates of hell will be opened on Abia State. Lord gates of hell will be opened in their state. That thing they want, they will get it. I repeat, only 14 days to remove this idiot from office and prosecute him. He must be arrested. He is the one responsible for the death of my parents. This man must be found and arrested. Wherever he is, we must find the wife and the children of this bastard must find him. And find him immediately, I said. He is an order, a direct order to the entire family all over the world who will find this man and his family. I set an example with them that the world may know how insane we are. This very idiot is walking about freely and talking rubbish because we allowed him to live. Because we allowed him to live. The secret abduction and execution of their friends going on in Anambra State must stop. Also, Obiana announced his rubbish yesterday. We must take the war to these people. They are evil. They are evil beyond compare. And we must warn them they can never win. They are fighting against their own people. They are not going to win. They can never ever win. Army and police, DSS and army, are now renting accommodation, especially around the Navy. They are using youth coppers in Anambra State to act as informants for them. Obiano is the one at the helm of this rubbish. They are organizing themselves in such a way that they can deplete the number of our men as they did at Mpoi. It was under Obiano that men died at Mpoi without provocation. All of you have idiotically forgotten. All you evil black people, you people that, that Lucifer are using as instruments. You children of darkness from Africa, wicked, evil people, you were there when over 500 people were massacred on that Obiano at a ball. You have all forgotten. Don't tell me rubbish about um, unknown gunmen attacking police. You never, what did you say when men were slaughtered at a ball? You did nothing. Our men must be at a lot. You must be at a lot. From now, no sleeping. All the young men in Biafra land, no sleeping. Every night you organize yourselves to defend your towns and your villages. DSS and the army are renting houses in, a, in and around Anambra State, patrolling in the daytime, abducting in the middle of the night. Because of that, from now, I, I'm telling Obiano from now, I don't want to see or hear that there is any movement of vehicle in Anambra State from 12 midnight to 5 o'clock every day from tonight. 12 midnight tonight. Any car that I see in Anambra State, any car moving from 12 midnight will be destroyed. And all occupants will be destroyed, all of them. From tonight. Let me say you're going to that, 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 that your kidnapping and that your abduction. From now, this immediately from this minute. 12 midnight every day or two for the notice. From 12 midnight to 5 a.m. in the morning, I don't want to hear that there is any vehicular movement in Abia State and in Anambra State. No movement of vehicle. Now, listen, if your brother, your auntie, your sister is a taxi driver or they have their own private vehicles, I said there will be no movement of any vehicle. Go and tell the Nigeria Union of, Journal of um, Road Transport Workers, even tell, even tell Union of Journalists, 
I do not want to hear that there is any vehicle on the road from 12 midnight, starting from tonight, 22nd of April, 2021, until further notice. No movement of vehicle from 12 midnight to 5 in the morning. Let me see how they're going to abduct. And every night, because if we allow the Fulani people to succeed in what they plan to do, we are finished. They have come before time. They are using Obiano. They are using Okezi Bazo. They are using all these wicked and evil people. You call your governors. Hope who's them to perpetrate this black. They ne these people never, I never heard Obiano come out to condemn Miguel Tiala when they were ravaging Dunukovia. I never heard Obiano come out to say that what is happening is bad when Miguel Tiala, full of the terrorists, we are, we are sacking villages in Ayabalum until we met them. None of them has ever come out to condemn the massacre of their own people. None. But when it comes to fighting their own people, they are number one champions. Them and anybody supporting them. All of them, we are prepared to die. Don't, don't get me wrong. Yes, we are. But you, you evil people working for full on a ginger weed without shame, you idiots, allowing cattle rarers to be controlling your brain, you idiots will die as well. Take that one walk Evil, evil, evil. From tonight, try me and see. Let me hear tomorrow. There was a vehicle in Anambra State towards midnight. God will punish the driver and everybody that the idiot is carrying. I said no vehicle. I don't want to see or hear any vehicle in a, from tonight. The for notice. Every landlord in Anambra State must do an audit as to those who are living in their houses. Every landlord in Anambra, I said, if you give your house to army or DSS, and from your house our people are abducted, what will happen to that landlord and the family in Tunragasu? I'm warning you now so you understand. Our madness have just begun. I am warning all of you, every landlord, do not give house to anybody. Unless you know who that person is and what they are doing. I am warning all of you. And you know, I don't care. You can be lamenting and talking the rubbish when they call you inside that rock to be talking rubbish every day. We don't give a damn. We are warning you. You are placing our land in danger. You are placing our land in danger. Because of our activities, we truncated the plan of the Fulanese to start your mass murder in 2022. That's what they plan to do, to take over the entire land and render all of you homeless. We have paid our own price in terms of sweat and blood to defend all of you. Now, the time has come for all of you to try and help to defend the whole of Biafra land. Every night, young men will not sleep. You will come out at the starting of every road that leads to every populated area under human habitation to make sure that appropriate roadblocks are put in place to slow them down so we can catch them and kill them. That's what we want you to do. Don't do anything. Slow them down only. So that I want to do. Mad people everywhere. This broadcast this morning, you must take very, very seriously. Anambra State is a hotbed of Fulani abduction and execution of our people. We can't allow it to continue. Obiano is held responsible personally. Obiano, from today onwards, anywhere you are seen in the public, you'll be attacked. It doesn't matter. Even when you leave office, it will be worse for you. You are an enemy of the people now and forevermore. I'm telling you this. Before God and before man. You will never, ever be forgiven for your treachery and your wickedness. When our sister was killed at Uli and her body cut into pieces, Obiano, what did you do? You did absolutely nothing. You're not ashamed of yourself that you're organizing with your Fulani friends to come and be abducting your own people. You're not ashamed of yourself. Any landlord that gives accommodation or rents his house or her house to a Fulani person, to, to an army personnel, to somebody who works for the police or DSS, All this nonsense must stop. 
all this nonsense must stop. You are living in a country where Fulani, they not only, not only are they the terrorists, they are the ones in control of the power. A terrorist is a minister in Nigeria. Obiano cannot even rise up and condemn such a person. Ibasu cannot rise up to condemn them. A, a terrorist is a minister, Pantami or whatever they call the job, is a minister in the government of Nigeria. A terrorist is there as a, as a serving minister. He come on to, I'm not asking you to even arrest him or to imprison him without trial, as they do to freedom fighters. Come on to remove the idiot from office, you useless, idiotic Nigerians, you monkeys from Africa, you black demons cannot even do it. You cannot do it. To tell you that Satan dwells in a black person. When you see people fighting for their freedom, everybody starts to talk rubbish, talk nonsense. A terrorist is a minister in your country. A terrorist, you cannot speak. He used to tell me that Ogon can come to my land after the death of my parents to be telling me he's going to kill more people. The day he buries his own children, he will understand how painful it is. Since they want madness, we give them madness. That's what they want, and we're going to give it to them. In abundance, I'm telling you the truth. When you killed 5 million of us between 66 and 1970, did we not multiply to still become the most populous ethnic group that you have. It doesn't matter how many you have ducked, how many you kill. Our mothers will give birth to many more. I assure you. But I am letting you understand that your name will be shut down. I'm a nunu gechi. It will be closed down completely. From tonight, I don't want to hear lamentation. I don't want to see or read in the eBay, in the uh, Facebook, uh, that here, that nothing also, that uh, no, kill them. If you see the army, army, army and the police in your village, kill all of them. They are murderers and they are killers. Kill them. Because it seems a black man, when, you, when you're trying to be very civil, doing things the normal way, they don't understand. This UG, they never understand. They think you're weak. Because you've been keeping quiet all this while. Hope you're not things out. I killed you at Mpoatone, I can kill you again. Obi Anor, you also a dead man walking. For that comment you made yesterday, you a dead man walking, and from today I'm announcing that there will be an election in Anambra State. Every, every, every edifice of election in Anambra State will be destroyed. I'm warning you in advance. There will be no election. Come out and campaign. Come out and campaign. There will be no campaign in Anambra State. Everybody will stay at home. Come out and campaign. There will be no campaign in Anambra State. You people are evil. We, you claim you are elected to represent the people, but you are there serving Fulani interest. Oh, Biano, all the years that the Fulanis have been killing us, what have you done? I'm asking you. Is to go and bring in Fulani mercenaries to be giving them houses in Anambra State. Any vehicle you see from, 12, from tonight, 12 midnight to 5, destroy it completely. That is the time they move about abducting people. And we keep quiet. All I hear is that uh, they can't have to go to. What stops you young people from, once you see them coming around 4 a.m. in the morning, you will block every exit. Set it on fire. They will exhaust all the ammunition that they have. Then we capture them alive and cut off their heads, all of them. You don't know that is how to fight Fulani. You think Fulani listens to argument or reason? These are, these are savages from hell. You think, you think they have time to listen to reason? Is that what you think? You and Fulani can sit down and, deb and debate and have a debate, have a discussion. People that jettisoned every law that they themselves made. They abandoned because they want to conquer you. Useless people doing the work of Fulani for them. Out of your idiocy and your brutality. These are the fools telling us Fulani Janja with. People that are not even indigenous to Nigeria. They came from the foothills of the Futajalon. As migrants, they came into houses that people foolishly allowed them. And look at how everybody is suffering today. Houses that people foolishly allowed for to take them over. And all of us today, we are suffering. Because of the foolishness of house peasants. The same foolishness that Obiano is exhibiting today. He was the, and, and that idiot in a boy. That idiot in a boy. That fool. That fool. They are telling us 
Buhari cannot be bullied. There is no Buhari or mind you. Have you been to my Twitter Twitter uh, page to see what I wrote about the year of the idiot? You know, people that, you know, uh, seriously speaking, you know, I used to read in books. Uh, people, oh, white people are the most honest people in the world. I'm saying it now. You see, oh, you be white. White people, Caucasians, are the most straightforward, honest people in the world. That is the reason why God blessed them. Anything they touch turns into gold. White people are the most honest people on this planet Earth. That is why they are blessed. That is why they can go to the moon. They can go to, to Mars. They can go anywhere they want to go to. They invent things. Our own, all, all so called, want be envy, greed, and jealousy, burning in a black man, in a black woman, every day, every blessed day. Why am I saying what I'm saying? Because when the white man condemns black people, they do it for a reason. Always a reason. I have been saying this all the time. The same level of vitriol, insult, and humiliation directed towards black people. When was the last time you heard that a Japanese man was insulted by a white man? It's a simple question. When was the last time you heard that a Korean was insulted by a white man? Because anything the white man can do, so can the Japanese, people of the Orient, from the East. So also can they. How about you black people? A governor elected to serve the people is busy inviting their murderers to come in and kill them. I see phobia, no, umahi, has all these idiots. That's that Sarikin Fulani of Imo State. I see they've never read any history. Somebody should give them the books of the war from Alex Madiabu. Give them the book to read. The program. The same masters they are serving today, what they did to us between 66 and 1970, courtesy of the British, of course. It's just like um, the mayor of Jerusalem running to a Nazi sympathizer in Germany to come and kill people in Jerusalem. Can you believe such rubbish? Can you believe such idiocy and such nonsense? This is our people for you. The same Fulani that you are defending. The same Fulani. They say we are criticizing the call for secession. Noting that uh, President Muhammad Buhari will not be bullied. Buhari is dead. The idiot you have there is Yusuf Abubakar Muhammad from the Niger Republic. Jubri is no longer even there. He has run away. All of you can see the mask the idiot is wearing. You can see his fresh hands. That was the day I knew that I can never ever blame a white person again for being racist towards black people. The issue of the Buhari's death in Nigeria has convinced me beyond every reasonable doubt that black people are stupid. I'm telling you the truth. The, oh my God. Anyway, let me not dwell on that. Addressing journalists in a media chat at APC headquarters in Abuja, and Garo Bashe, who said, those advocating for the secession uh, or for secession are the problem of the country, not for any terrorists, not for any Mietiala, not for any ISWAP, ISIS in West Africa province, not for any in Boko Haram, not for any in Al Qaeda in the Maghreb, not for any in, in headsmen and bandits, but only those asking for freedom. You people, Nigeria media, God will punish you people because you people are also very evil. I've been saying it from day one. You people are evil. Instead of them to say that these are freedom fighters, people asking for freedom, they said that secessionists. Seceding from what I keep asking these morons all the time, who are so badly educated. They don't even know if they're coming up, they're going. Addressing the, one thing is that uh, uh, this you can't intimidate him, you cannot bully him. Bully who? But Boko Haram is bullying you every blessed day. Every blessed day. A bunch of liars and deceit, and you useless, idiotic Nigerians, you sit down and you gobble up all this rubbish. Every day you swallow all this junk. You do nothing about it. All you do is you go back to your homes and you beat up your wives out of frustration. When as a man, you should be out confronting the man who has come to destroy your future. They said, a lot of these people calling for secession are, are the problems of the country. And uh, I'm happy that reasonable opinions and voices are now rising. What are those reasonable opinions and voices that this people are talking? They don't know And the judge will be also. 
those that they elected. You see, when our people claim they are educated, I worry sometimes. A black man, I don't know, I can't understand it. When a black man says to me, I'm educated, I look at them as a, as a very funny species of something that got a leftover from creation. Oh, and they say, oh, we believe in one Nigeria. Hey, one Nigeria. Let's ask me well, what holds us together is stronger than what divide. Idiots talking rubbish. What holds you together is Fulani presidency, Fulani chief of family staff, Fulani naval uh, 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 chief of uh, uh, naval staff, Fulani chief of um, air force, Fulani everywhere, Fulani cattle everywhere. To the point whereby now there's a Fulani cattle ID card. You are telling me you are proud of such a place. How, why, why is it that, uh, uh, in fact, um, I think that God must have made a mistake creating black people. Believe you me, even animals cannot reason this way. Animals in the bush cannot reason the way that black people do, I'm telling you the truth. Or oh, Haneze, because Haneze said, let restructure, let's down, full and, that is something that these idiots don't understand. Those in Afeni, of course, fire the window cannot be so stupid as to say this um, uh, nonsense that that you idiot like Obioto is saying. Anytime one of these social cultural rubbish, any day you open your mouth and you say, Oh, we want Nigeria to be one, Fulani will use it as justification to continue what they're doing. That is something you people don't understand. But if you go for division, if you go for broke, if you go for complete disembarment of the zoo, then you get what you're looking for. It's common sense. It's Fulani. That's the way they behave. Fulani wanted to remove Jonathan. They did not waste time. They launched a terror group. They mounted a very severe and sustained campaign against Jonathan. The world over with the help of the British. By the end of the day, Jonathan was out. And when they came in, they commenced the whole scale fulanization of the governing process of every structure, every political structure in the zoo called Nigeria. All of that, they are blowing grammar, writing circumstances beyond my control, writing rubbish, writing junk online. Fulani embarked upon economic, political, social annihilation of all of you before your eyes. Before your eyes, you can you can see it. When it's time for them to retire, they don't retire. They retain them. Now they come, took away all your means of livelihood. Now come, oh my God in heaven, this UG, black people, black people. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Why did I come amongst you people? People who cannot reason. People who cannot make use of their common sense in this UG, black, black, black people reason, black people reason for what? Use your brain to reason for just one minute. That's all I ask of you. Fulani came all the way from Futa Jalon. They are now, you know, telling us what to do. It took them many years, over 200 years, but they succeeded. They are in Ebony, in Abakiliki, telling us what to do. They are in Anambara. The seed of the oldest creation on this earth, telling us what to do. Oh my God. There says some people want to ask Buhari for money. And I want to ask this idiot, Karabashiru. Who is that person? Name that person. They want to ask Buhari for money. That is where I blame our brothers from the coastal region of Biafra. You see, that is the thing. You see, you see, Fulani, they're very clever. Once you start an agitation, they give you money and you take, you're finished. Forever and ever, you're finished. That is why to even revive the agitation in the coastal region is almost impossible. Because they'll say, oh, you wanted money, we gave you money, you stopped, to, we gave you pipeline contract and you went home. That's it. They will insult you. Money and oil that belongs to us. People that came all the way from Senegambia are telling us what to do. And people are not ashamed to wake up in the morning, look themselves in the mirror and say they are Nigerians. People are not ashamed of yourselves. God have mercy upon your wretched, idiotic black souls. I'm telling you the truth. Very, very wretched. Buhari cannot be bullied. But Buhari can be bullied into accepting. Buhari can be bullied into accepting.
Do forgive me, I was rudely interrupted. Somebody came to my door. But we must proceed, and proceed we shall. These funny people in their arrogance and delusion is unaware of what is coming. And we are going to, basically we are going to watch as the whole thing unfolds, as the whole zoo crumbles. All of you people talking about your stupid, idiotic one, Nigeria, I feel sorry for all of you. I feel sorry for all of you. Why would anyone have an interest in a country and government that has terrorists as cabinet members? Just, just explain that to me. And the funniest thing is that when people came out to say, there's a terrorist there, this is what he said. We have his record. His people, Fulani, are defending him. Fulani people are defending him. But you idiots from the south, from the east, you are talking rubbish about your one Nigerian. Whereas a terrorist, a killer, a murderer, a murderer is in government, as a minister, as a minister, his own people are the people defending him. But you are in the south attacking those who are fighting for your freedom. And you are telling me that your brains are normal. Maybe there is something in Syria, maybe in Kilishi, and in that cattle that they give to us to eat. There must be something fundamentally wrong with us as a people. Fundamentally wrong with us as a people. And we must confront it. And confront it we shall. These people lecturing us about no secession, you are destroying the country. You people, you full and idiots, you full and bigots, you full and impostors, you full and vagabonds are the same people that welcomed the rehabilitation of terrorists. You granted bandits, killers, murderers, and kidnappers amnesty. I want to be not to listen. I want Tripas to listen. I want Tripas, this idiot, Sarakin Fulani, of him who stayed hopeful so they have to listen very, very carefully. You people are fools because you cannot listen very well. The same people you're fighting for, killing your own people because of them, they are the ones rehabilitating, so they claim, putting the army that we have today. Somebody might come and say, Oh, uh, uh, you have given the order that the police and the army should be attacked. All those idiots. Some of you fools who cannot reason. We are not attacking any, any, any police. We are attacking the terrorists that they brought into the police and into the army. They are the ones killing our people. We must defend ourselves. You fools cannot reason very well. We are not fighting any standing or legally, properly constituted army or police. These are the same full army terrorists. Murderers and killers. The same people that went in, um, is it um, in, in, in Damatru or wherever it is, Killing and slaughtering Christians in droves, you fools that cannot reason. The same Boko Haram that has been killing, the same foreign that have been killing people, they are the ones now in the army. Did you not see them? Recruit them into the army? You're telling me we shouldn't fight them? These are terrorists in police uniform and army uniform. You're saying we should not fight them? Is that what you're saying? Are you that foolish? Are you that stupid? This some Fulani pontificating about uh, peace and unity and uh, anti secession water package that they are pouring out of their useless, stinking danger with mouth. These same idiots, these same fools, are the ones that rehabilitated Boko Haram. So they claim. These fools are the ones that granted amnesty to bandits. Now, let me surprise all of you. Surprise, surprise, those that are giving amnesty to are Fulani, Fulani terrorists, Fulani bandits. Fulani kidnappers, Fulani headsmen who are murderers and land grabbing urchins. These are the people that are giving amnesty to. You people should reason. You zoo animals called Nigerians reason for once. The, other, the hypocrisy in Fulani, Fulani, their hypocrisy is astonishing. Hypocrisy. Fulani, who is responsible for the state of almost anarchy in the zoo? Who is responsible for the hopelessness of the security framework of the zoo? Fulani, who is responsible for insecurity? Fulani, who are the bandits? Fulani, who are the terrorists in the zoo? Fulani, which people who are going about slaughtering and taking over other people's farmlands? It is you. You people are the problem. Unfortunately, some idiots from the south cannot see it. You wanted to show us that uh, you know how to write grammar, writing rubbish about one Nigeria. You are defending something that is indefensible. Indefensible. Indefensible, you fools. Some f smelly rats, some smelly garbage gutter, alamagiri gutter. 
the lowest of the low. If he's um, one of those of their fools talking, I will even understand. From the daughter. Not contributed one single thing to the advancement of the zoo. Not one single contribution has the Fulani ever made. Tell me one national contribution that the Fulani has ever made to the advancement of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. Just name one thing, absolutely nothing. They want power. Power and control of oil and gas. That's all they need. That's all they want. So they can run your lives for you and control your destiny. And you're not ashamed of yourself to claim that you're educated. From tonight, as I said earlier, no vehicular movement in Anambra. 12 midnight to 4 in the morning. No movement of vehicle in Anambra State. And you must find that Ogoni idiot. Find him and his family, find his children. Kaga, hey, God, baby, I want some for all. Find his children. He's one of those house of peasants in those days that were used by the friends to destroy their own glorious Habe monarchies. This idiot sign our land. He is AIG of police. They promoted him to AIG because he killed his own people. At this time, you know why. And he has come again. We must take death to them so they can say it. We are not afraid of death. But they are. We must take it to them. 14 days to remove the idiot as AIG. Or hell will be brought down on our state. Absolute hell. Let them understand it. When the police and the army are going about killing innocent people, none of you idiots, none of you monkeys from the zoo called Nigeria will ever speak. You people are demonic. Because of you people, I knew that black people have a problem. I'm telling you, because of Nigerians, I knew that black people are useless to mankind. I'm telling you the truth. Nigerians are the most useless set of idiots on the face of this earth. Fools everywhere. Some smelly, smelly Fulani youths. Some, they call them Fulani youths. Very smelly. When you look at them, you know that they are, they are very dirty. Dirty, stinking pigs. From where they come from, no, nobody knows. Fools. Uh, 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 expressing sympathy for a terrorist in government. Always trying to remove the speck in somebody else's eyes, but they log in their, uh, in their own, they can never see it. Fulani, deceiving all of you. And you, you intellectuals from the South are claiming you, you went to school. I want Nigeria. Which stupid Nigeria is that at all? The one that your father created or your mother created or your grandfather created. You monkeys from the south. Who created this Nigeria that you, you, you want to die over? Oh, sorry. Because you have a stake in it. You people are called stakeholders. You want money as well. As the governors are enjoying, so do you also want to enjoy. Stupid, idiotic, mad people everywhere. These are the same people who are rehabilitating terrorists, the same people that have terrorists in their cabinet. They went to a meeting, was it two days ago? They called a Federal Executive Council meeting. A terrorist was at the meeting. They didn't even discuss it. These are the people coming down to the East to pontificate to tell us, hey, cessation is not good. Yeah, that rubbish. Yeah, that nonsense. Self-determination is not good. It's not good. Oh, but having a terrorist in government is very good. He's very, very good, isn't it? He's wonderful. He's laudable. And you know, funny. Oh, Piano can stand up and mount all his rubbish, all he lies. He can never condemn a terrorist in government. We care the same thing. We care is no longer sleeping in, in government house. He confessed with his own stupid, idiotic mouth. We will find him. He can run and run and run. He can be running all over the place. We will find the idiots. Eventually, we will find him. And when it happens, I will tell you, I told you so. Oh, Piano has joined that very list. Everybody held in an umbra, illegally detained, must be freed. Have here the same and are right across our land. Or else that thing they want, they will get it. That thing you full and slaves want, you will get it. You are not even ashamed of yourselves. Look at the people controlling you from Abuja. From Sokoto and from Kaduna. Look at the idiots controlling you. You, 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 are a you people are leaders. You, you claim you are leaders. Leading nobody. Because nobody in their right mind will want to do anything with you fools. Useless people everywhere. Answering governors. But in essence, absolutely useless and hopeless. 
This is the same country. They are debating ID card for cows. ID card for Nama. That's the country you want to belong to. That's I'm a Nigerian. I'm a proud Nigerian. I wish someday you can, uh, all of you idiots that call yourselves Nigeria can be lined up and shot dead. You people are fools. ID card for cattle, for Nama. My <laughs> God in heaven. Hey, in my, I keep saying it all in my next life. If I see a black person, I'm telling you, I will, I will become a stillborn in my mother's womb. I'm telling you the truth. You people make me sick. Your stupidity sickens me. The stupidity of black people makes me sick. I get sick thinking about it. I get sick. You people are fools. I'm telling you the truth. A country discussing, debating ID card for cattle, for Nama. Cow ID card. As they are busy lecturing you, hey, we don't want secession. Uh, something needs to happen. We must do something. Gunmen have attacked a university in Kaduna. Kidnapping people. They will not send Okon. Okon say he's a hard man in Agia for killing my parents and 28 unarmed youths. He's a hard man. <laughs> uh, he has not been up north to fight Boko Haram. He was there when gunmen attacked a private university in Kaduna. The attack happened on Tuesday night, two days ago. When the gunmen invaded the school. In full animal too. Hey, security. We have got to move through to the south. We want to go to the east. We want to deal with every criminality. But the criminality in Kaduna, you cannot see it. I don't know what type of human. God, how, the, how, how was it possible that you allowed me to be amalgamated with people who, uh, in fact, I prefer to befriend a cat, a cow, more than these people. I'm telling you the truth. Kaduna school was attacked. Scores taken. Because the Kaduna state governor is himself an arch terrorist. The places I can visit in the world, none of them can go to it. But these are the same people insisting and talking rubbish every day. IPF is a terrorist organization. But the countries I can visit, they can never visit. It. They can never go there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, listen to me very, very carefully. The senator who represents, Shehu Sani, who represented the Kaduna Central a while back, a former senator, said the fresh reports that bandits have attacked and kidnapped many students at the Greenfield University along Kaduna Abuja Road is yet another tragedy. Proprietors of schools within this axis need to read the signs. Even most of us have abandoned our farms to the care of God. You see, the Fulanis are very stupid. All of those, you know, you know, I understand what God has in store for Nigeria. And I know, I saw it many, many years ago. Over 15 years, I saw it. You see how foolish they are. The little they have, they're going to send to the East to fight us. And God will allow all these madmen from Fulani across the Sahel with guns to ravage them. A former senator said, we have abandoned our farms and he's advising those that own universities to also abandon their schools. Do you see that our God is working? You know when we pray, sometimes people don't understand that God actually answers our prayers. Our people are very stupid. You have a governor who has no sense of history. He says he's an elite. You have idiots, you know, and say, I saw George Obiozo uh, responding to questions on channels TV, reading from hi, reading from a prepared script. They asked me, he was looking for his paper, opening it, they were looking for the answers. Like doing expo in an exam hall. These are your leaders. No sense of history. None of you ever have you ever do you know why Hausa people? Do you know why Hausa people? We are destroyed so easily. It's because they had the likes of Obi and uh, Umahi Ibasun in their ranks. Idiots. They thought they were doing fighting corruption, fighting their leader. Fulani will always get you to fight one another. That is what they specialize in. That is their job. That is what they always do. That is what they do. They, they will get you fighting each other and they come in and they take over. That's what they do. And now they're using Obi and Ibasun. 
and all these other idiotic governors. Now, I don't, I don't consider Hope Zodama as, as a governor, he's not. Our people allowed the imposition of somebody that came forth in an election. That was when I knew that our conquest has been completed by the Janjaweed. That's why they can do whatever they like. Anything they like, they can do. Because you people are foolish. Very, very foolish. But we must continue. We need to continue. Because Elohim is on the throne. That is to tell you, those lecturing you about, ah, hey, stop cessation. But they cannot stop terrorism in their own backyard in Kaduna. The midget, the midget, that search engine in Kaduna cannot stop terrorism. But they want to tell you to stop agitation for freedom, away from terrorism. We are running from Fulani terror tendencies. That's what we're running from. Not just looking for freedom. We don't want to be with you. You people are, you, you are a curse upon any race that you mix with. You're a curse. History is there to vindicate everything that I say. Everything that I say. Before you say it is hate speech, go and refer to the interview granted by Sama Dubelo to BBC. It is there. I play it all the time. Go and read it. Fulani brought tribalism, hatred, wickedness into Nigerian politics. Fulani did, single-handedly, out of envy, because they cannot be like us. How many of you are then we are beautiful people, naturally endowed and blessed from heaven, with intellect and knowledge. Out of greed and... Show me one Fulani scientist. I keep asking you every blessed day, show me one Fulani invention, one thing that a Fulani child or man invented and said, this is mine, I did this. None. Zero. Zero. And you are in one Nigeria and then you use less people. Uh, uh, debating the number of cows roaming across uh, uh, Nigeria. The most useless bunch of idiots in the world. They're in the Senate. It, by, it scaled the second reading. What does that tell you? Are you telling me that if we had on the Duduwa assembly, Duduwa will sit down, learned men from Yoruba land will sit down and be discussing the number of cows in the country? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me? But in the National Assembly, the Fulanese outnumber all of you by two to one. They gerrymander, they create constituencies. They will always outnumber each and every, all of you put together. They determine the agenda. Imagine a whole National Assembly discussing cows, the number of cows, and giving ID card to cows. Maybe very soon they'll vaccinate them against COVID-19. That's the type of country you belong to. I'm a proud Nigerian. You're a proud animal, indeed. Mad people everywhere. Can you imagine having ID cards for beasts of the forest? Beasts, animal, animals. ID card for cattle. Welcome to Fulani country. I'm sure that all of you are thinking of 2023, yes? There will be no election. None whatsoever. Ordinary and number election in November, there will be none. I said, no, not even campaign. I didn't even say, uh, don't go, in the past, we say, oh, don't go to vote. They don't uh, vote. No, we said, there will be no election. He had nothing. Let them bring all that, their army that they have into Anambra, so that Boko Haram and all the rest of the, the people sent by Satan can ravage them very, very well. The zoo is finished. If you cannot see the handwriting on the wall, maybe... Most high, have mercy upon your idiotic, ignorant soul. Nigeria is finished. Completely finished. Nobody can cure it anymore. Fulani people are experts at defending their own. Something idiot like Ogon, this stupid fool, AIG, whatever rubbish. Who claims it's AIG should learn. Fulani is always defend their own, even terrorists in government. Ogon is a, is a Biafran. He specializes in killing unarmed people in Biafra land. The, the people that he's killing his own fellow brothers for are defending a terrorist, a killer in the north, in the cabinet. And he's an intelligent man, so to speak. You come, you kill. But when police formations are attacked, you start talking rubbish. But when you're killing the children of other parents, you keep quiet. All of you, all of you zoo Nigerian animals, you keep quiet. You monkeys from from Black Africa, you keep quiet. 
Retribution. Vengeance is coming. When we raise the dragon flag, they thought we were joking. And that will be retribution. Everybody you abduct, everybody you kill, you are going to die eventually. Where you are going to die, the place and time of your death, you no longer have to choose. The angels of God will choose. Not you anymore. But you are going to die. As you are killing other people's children, so are you going to die. If anybody thinks that intimidation, abduction, arrest, all this nonsense can, uh, can make us to stop, you, it only makes us angrier. Understand this. We have crossed that stage of being intimidated. Passed it a long time ago. The sooner you realize that, the better for all of you. Some of you need to know this. You need to understand this. The so-called Southeast said, uh, somebody said, uh, Nigerian army raiding the South. They are raiding. They are abducting. I don't want to read or hear about it. Anywhere we know they are going to is a very simple strategy. Very, very simple. It worked very well in the Jewish ghettos of, of Warsaw in Second World War against the Nazi army. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. I don't know if most of our youth these days are on drugs. You know, I don't know what is happening to them. They, they, they can no longer reason properly. Once they drive down, not, the convoy will, no, will not be more than 10 or 15 vehicles. They will drive them to the village to, to abduct somebody. As they come to the village to abduct, we block every exit. That's all. We cut down trees to block every exit. As they are leaving, they must come down from their vehicle to clear the roadblock that we have mounted. And then we kill them. Very simple. Then we kill them. That time, their superior firepower and numbers count for nothing. You neutralize them. Now we are commanding the higher ground. They are on the lower ground. We allow them to come in. You know, they will come in the middle of the night, maybe around 4 a.m. You know, as they do, they sneak in. They do their, gra -gra their show, which they cannot do in the north. Then we block every exit and we kill them. Very simple. It's not difficult. Because they have come to kill you. The law of natural right dictates that you kill them as well. That is how it is. That, that is the only way a Fulani can leave you alone. If you think that Fulani can be killing you and you're writing petition, since this year we have not written not one single petition to anybody. Not one single one to anybody. You kill us now, <laughs> you're going to die eventually. Be you police or army, I don't give a damn, you will die. And I want to show you madness. You will see madness very, very shortly. They claim that they formed the Bebois, it will be rubbish, or it will be pussy, all this. When I tell you that your governors are liars and deceivers, you don't understand me, especially those from the East. Your governors are liars. They are congenital, congenital liars. These are people that were doing 419 before, like Dave Romay. They were using laptop to steal money. Who puts them? A confirmed 419, Yahoo, Yahoo, he was doing in Lagos. Before Biosa took him to be ravaged by Fulani Janja Wind in four hotels in the north, where he forgot his boxer shots. Who puts at him? He was a, an, a common thief, a common criminal, using laptop to steal. That's all he used to do. From today, he's your governor. And they have brought that skill of deception and lies to governance. And that is why you cannot trust them. I want to read for you a press statement issued by the Sarekin Fulani of Yumu State, Hope Uzodema. A Bubago, not alternative to police and army, says Uzodema, according to, to Zoom newspaper, Punch. According to Punch newspaper. It's not us. This is what they said. Let me tell you what they said. <laughs> the governor in, I wouldn't call it, the Sarekin Fulani of Yumu State, Hope Uzodema, in a press statement said that a Bubago is but a local outfit, <laughs> listen, no, local outfit, meant to gather information on criminal activities and give to the security operatives for proper processing and action. In other words, they are informants, as we told you. Mahane Zendiatron and Du Shindi are you listening to me? They issued a statement yesterday from the administrator of Imo State, Sarakin Fulani, Imo State, where he said, that your so-called is only there to act as informants for Nigeria Army and Nigeria Police.
run by Fulani people, our eternal enemies. Are you following me? Are you people following me? According to the God. This, uh, we, today we launch a bubak. A bubak who is a security for Southeast region. A bubak, a bubak, a pussy. Yesterday, because when, you know, our people used to be intelligent before. I don't know. That's why I said maybe most people are now on drugs. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell is going on. Because I can't understand how a gifted race, very intelligent, highly articulate, well-trained all over the world, can fall for such gibberish and idiocy from these charlatans and deceivers. A few days ago, they told us, oh, we are doing um, a webback, webback is now everywhere. The same, in, yeah, only yesterday, the same governor said, there is no webback, we are only informants. So. So we gather, we spy on IPOB and we give it to the police and the army. If you catch you, you'll die there. Ba 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 Informant, any of the bad we see, we destroy it. We don't even wait for it, but that will be an explanation. We destroy it completely. We will fight enemies on multiple fronts. In the end, you know, the harder the battle, the greater the glory. Look at where we are today. Since this year, not one single letter of complaint to anybody. Britain have realized that somehow we are going to get an asylum. Asylum back walk, we stupid asylum. We want freedom, we want referendum. Listen, a, a bubago, this a bubago everywhere is only but a local out. You know, the, the full army servants, their masters have called them. You idiots, what are Go, come on, go out and clarify to your people what you mean by. Oh, we are sorry, we are sorry, Sultan. It's only a local outfit meant to gather information, uh, spy on IPOB, basically. That's what they have formed. I told you we have been fighting for an name headsmen in Ebony for years. For nearly five years. And that is why I am saying today that all these so-called communal clashes in Ebony must stop. It must stop. If you are strong, come and join us so we can meet our enemies in the battlefield, which is Fulani Janjaweed. All this nonsense you're doing in a boy, in a size, all this rubbish must stop. Go and tell the community leaders that's what I said. It must stop. Fought with immediately. All that rubbish must come to an end. Immediately, I said. I want to tell you why. Because we are the ones that drove the Fulani away from a boy state. From a boy state. You must understand this very, very carefully. The same way we are fighting them in Anambra and everywhere else, and also in Abia State. But you see, the Fulanis are very clever. What they want to do is to focus attention on what IPOB is doing, to, to get you to demonize, to get you a Fulay who is living in Abuja and in Lagos, including ADF for four people. ADF that I thought, Ali would develop, I thought they were human beings, have joined the ranks of idiots. If you go and see the statement they issued, go and read it. I don't know what's You know, anybody, people just be living in Abuja and Lagos, there's something wrong with their brain. All these people want to fight us, the people. I don't want to read or hear about abductions anywhere. We are going to set up our own defenses in our villages to make sure that all army and police informants who are incidentally in Bubago are apprehended including any traditional ruler that may be in the payroll of any governor. We aren't going to spare anyone. Not one single soul. I want you to, maybe I can play, you can hear from, from Dave Omahi himself what he had to say about Fulani in Ebony State. Courtesy of ESN, this noble family of IPOB. I told Mietiala, I will drive you away from Ebony. They said, no, we have the largest school in West Africa in Ebony. I will drive you away from there. Umokoko. Let's listen to the idiot from Ebony and what he has to say regarding the promise I made to Miet Yala many, many years ago regarding Ebony State. Let us listen and hear from the idiot. When a Fulef is talking, you will know they are very, very idiotic. Listen. The killings of policemen, I'm calling up uh, uh, police stations. In Southeast, they are not being done by X-Men. Umay, talk about done by people across the Southeast. Idiots from a boy's state. Bandits and criminals. Mm -hmm. I'm 
my directive to policeman is that if you see anybody coming to kill you, demobilize the person. That is the rule of engagement. Police people should not fold their hands and be killed. Vehicles burnt. The man, this is a point of people uh, of a point. This is a uh, sort of man of a point state. This idiot never said the same thing when full and people attacked us in a boy. He never said to the villagers attack. He said, Oh, keep quiet. Um, uh, I have gone to I have gone to what's it called? To 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 this thing. Uh, um to um uh, Abuja. Abuja will get back to you. Abuja will get back to you. Abuja will get back to you. That's what he said. Abuja will get back to you. But now he is advising people, advising them to try and uh, uh, defend themselves. Full army police, defend yourself. Full army army, defend yourself. But uh, we, uh, we should allow uh, Abuja to get back to us. That is how stupid these people are. That is how stupid they are. We are live and we are direct. In case you do not know, preaching the word of God from heaven itself. And nothing is going to stop us. Nothing is going to stop us. Absolutely nothing. Now, I want you to understand this very well and listen very, very carefully to this idiot from, from Eboi, Umahi. He took loan from Islamic bank. That's why he's talking rubbish. Umahi, when they were killing us, did you say anything? When they were shooting your own people and killing them, did you ask us to arm ourselves and defend ourselves? Then you are defending Flammy police. Listen. Police stations burnt. Mm -hmm. And I want Southeast leaders to rise up to condemn this. He never called for Southeast leaders to rise up and condemn Fulani invasion of our land. Never. That is why you know that these people are there to serve the interest of the Fulani and not yours. When it comes to instigating division amongst us, they are number one. They rise up. When it comes to fighting the common enemy, they couldn't. It was IPOB that fought and defeated Miyatiala in the police state. The idiot will soon confirm it. Listen, please. How do we feel if because of the killing and burning of police stations in Southeast, the federal government decides to withdraw all the police people from Southeast? Better. We should rise up to condemn what is evil. Mm -hmm. And this is very important. Those who claim are protecting us are not protecting us. He is talking about high POB and Eastern Security Network that claim they are protecting us and not protecting us. So now he is confessing with his mouth. He is even relying on ESN to protect him, a governor of the state. The same idiots working against ESN. But they don't know that this mission was ordained by God Almighty in heaven. No man can stop it. Not even myself, I can't even stop it. Listen, this is Dave Omahe, the, the, the full and idiotic governor of a body state. He wants to be vice president or maybe minister for foreign affairs. In a new Janja with government when he leaves office. Listen. Let us not create Adam Monster in Southeast. We will all regret it. And so we have sent messages to the leadership of Mietala. Please, my boy <laughs> state is under tension because of these killings. <laughs> and we would want them to stay, stay out mm -hmm. until such a time that it will be safe. Mm -hmm. For the traditional ones to show face <laughs> on the open uh, grazing. Listen, uh, well, there is no need of talking about that because there is no cow in a boy state now, there is no uh, headsman in a boy state now. Did you hear that? No headsman in a boy state. That is. IPOB Muchineke, I salute all of you. May heaven bless you people immensely. I told you, if anything I tell you that will come to pass more, I said to me, Etiala, I will drive you away from a Boeing state. IPOB will drive you away from a Boeing state. From the mouth of the idiotic governor himself, he has confirmed it. That's not me, Etiala, the Boeing state. Now, the people attacking us now are the army and the police, pretending they are flying headsmen. And we are going to meet them. We are meeting them anyway. Even as I speak right now, we are confronting them. We are meeting them.
They have no idea. They have no idea. What propels us is more than just mere agitation. We are doing the work of God Almighty in heaven. Mortals cannot understand it. Mere mortals cannot comprehend it. Umahi do not, don't even know what we are doing. When I told Umahi, I will drive, I sent him a personal message. I said to Umahi, I will drive Mieti away from Napoli State. Today he has confirmed it. He's begging them, oh, don't worry. When things settle down, you will come back. Come back in a bed. Come to where I'm asking you. Somebody should go and tell Professor Mwala, Professor De Mawala, what the Boy State Governor said. Professor De Mawala issued a statement saying that we are just grabbing headlines and making mouth. Professor De Mawala said such rubbish. Oh my God. Tell Professor De Mawala to listen to the speech made by Umahi of Boy State. Maybe Ozzy Mawala will tell me that ADF were the ones that drove away full of the terrorists from the Boeing State. Stupid, stupid man. Stupid. And he's supposed to be a professor. Ozzy Mawala, go and listen to, to what Umahi said about the Boeing State. Let me play it again for you so you will listen. This IPOB that you want to disparage out of Jealousy because everywhere you go is IPOB, 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 IPOB. You issued a very watery, spiteful, and vindictive statement on becoming of a man of your standing. You have joined the Hanese and will treat you as such. I got like me, I'm telling you the truth. I thought you were a man and a father. I don't know you are even consumed. Maybe you are the person they are talking about that went to collect money to stop the agitation. Because did, you didn't succeed, man. Now you're upset. Listen to what a governor has to say about the work that IPOB has been doing. Okay, so now bring energy. Listen very carefully. Open uh, grazing. Mm -hmm. uh, well, there is no need of talking about that because... There is no cow in a boy state now. There is no uh, Epsman in a boy state now. Who made it possible? I'm asking Mr. Mawana. Who made it possible? The indigenous people of Biafra, Eastern Security Network, drove away me yet from a boy state as I promised you would. I, 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 can't you understand it? Mr. Mawala, can you understand it? I'm asking you. We must continue. I want you to listen and understand the, 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 the rubbish that they are forming. There is nothing like a Bubago that as learned as we claim we are, we cannot come out and say the truth. Nothing like a Bubago and nobody will join them. Nobody will join them. You join them and you are dead. You cannot. Now listen. Mm -hmm. And the native cannot continue to blame security agencies because security agencies cannot be everywhere. Yes. So we are directing the vigilante <laughs> to enforce the open grazing law of the state. Vigilante is the Eastern Security Network. They have Nebubako. He is not saying we are directing Nebubako to now go and enforce uh, uh, ban open grazing. He's relying on us to do it. And he's the one fighting us. You see your, how stupid these people are. You see how foolish they are. Uh, yeah. There is never back. He is now asking vigilante to please do something. Because uh, there is no, it will be rubbish. Absolutely none. None whatsoever. It is now very clear to all and sundry. Eastern Security Network. Eastern Security Network. Those anointed by heaven itself, Umu Chineke, extraordinary men and women, extraordinary. History will be kind to all of you. If, if not, that you cannot worship any idol, I'm telling you the truth, they are worthy. I'm telling you. Yes, and they are worthy. Nobody has even asked us, uh, uh, how do you... Uh, 
How did you manage to make this possible? How did you drive away the mighty federal government of Nigeria, Migeti Alaka, from Ebony State? Have you ever asked yourself that question? How can they have a miscover this miscreants? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Let me leave the idiot to his stupidity. Oh my. A fool. A fool. A very big fool. Wretched and pathetic, these people. Wretched and pathetic. Useless. Biafra will come and will deal with these idiots. I'm telling them up front. I'm telling you before in advance. So you understand what is going on. In advance. So you understand what is happening. And, and know that we are not joking. Nobody can stop us. Britain can see it. United Kingdom can see it. That these people are unstoppable. They are fanatical. And they are right. They are on the path of righteousness. That's why they said, come and take which take to stupid asylum. Asylum by Paul. Which stupid asylum, I ask? We are the children of the Most High. What stupid asylum, I ask? What stupid asylum? We don't need it. We are progressing. We are moving forward. Governor of Imo State, back, back, back. He's only, he's only for informants. So. Uh, we get information and we give it to army and to the police. <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry. They cannot fight us and win. They must understand that. You cannot fight us and you win. It is impossible. We are undefeatable. We defeated Miet Yala, talkless of you wretched idiots. Miet Yala is a branch of the, is the terror branch of the federal government of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. In a boy, we defeated them. In a boy, they've had a strong, a, a, a stranglehold for very many years. We defeated them. How many bodyguards do you have? I'm asking you. Dara. Dara. Cowards, I'm telling you, black people are, especially those who claim that they're educated. That is why white people treat you with contempt. Black Africans have rendered themselves easily subdued or cowed simply because we want to avoid the sweat and blood necessary to stand on our own feet. No sacrifice, no sense of sacrifice, no sense of honor, no courage. That is why Fulani is messing about with you. A life of subordination is no life at all. A life you, 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 you cringe and you bow before Fulani is not a life. You idiots must understand it. Fulani are cattle riders, they are gender with, they know nothing. They have nothing to offer. Stop being afraid of them, you idiots. Stop it. Let me tell you what somebody said from Plateau State. So you understand what you're fighting against. And the believe the one in Zuzu. A full effort listen very carefully. Or the lecturers listen very, very carefully. Dara, this is what we are fighting against. If I can defeat me at Yala in a boy state, where what makes you think our land will not be free? I'm asking you. Such a shame. Somebody said I went to Bokos in Plateau State for a wedding. Oh my God, I could not sleep all the way through the night. I couldn't sleep. Foreign Fulanese are everywhere in a place called, I think it's Bioko, they call it, in, in Plateau State. They have completely invaded the whole village. The indigenous people are now looking like visitors in their own land. This is too sad. Somebody wrote, from a place called Bioko in Plateau State, Fulani from the Sahel have taken over this very village. The people that own the village, they are now living in fear every blessed day. The media will not report it. You need Idiots called zoo animals do not understand what is happening. IPOB are the ones saving you. We are the ones saving you, people. You don't even know it. You have no idea. You have no idea because you are foolish. You have no idea because Satan has marked you for destruction at the hands of the fallen. You have no idea what we are fighting. None of you. Can you fight me yet? I'm asking you. All you idiotic Hanese, ADF, all these idiots, can you fight me at the other wing? The neighbor we did. 
After very many years, when I told you we are fighting them in Ebo, you did not believe me that from the mouth of the idiotic governor of Ebo state, it has come to the fore. The truth has been made manifest. It is the truth. Any youth cop I found in Anambra State supporting the zoo or being inspired, like, I'm more, you're dead. I'm telling you the truth. Go and tell your parents now what they're sending you to do in, in Anambra State. I don't want to ban the movement of youth coppers in Anambra State. I don't want to, honestly. But if you compel me, I will. You see that thing that the zoo is waiting for or that thing that they want is going to come. It is coming. It's only a matter of time. Somebody also wrote, and very convincingly, of course, that the, sometimes even the flani is not even your problem. Your problem is the way you reason. You've allowed yourself to be intimidated into stupor. Intimidation, you allow flani from Senegambia, not even from, from, from the northern part, from all the way from Senegambia to intimidate all of you. If Flanny says jump, he says, Oh, how high? How high? I am imagining. How high? I'm imagining. Should I jump? Shame on all of you. And you have the temerity and the presence of mind to challenge people who are defending you. All those people from a boy, even idiots like what's his name again, the, the, the so called um, uh, uh, science minister. I don't know what idiot's name is. We defended a boy. Stoically, we defended a boy. Today, no headsmen. That, that is why I am warning the traditional rulers, all these stupid village clashes, I don't want to hear it. If you are from Ebonia and you are listening, go and take this message to Izi, Eza, Ngo, all those places, tell them I said, Nambekano said, all these stupid communal clashes, I don't want to hear it anymore. And I want to remind uh, all the governors and Okun, the, the AIG of Abia, the nine. <laughs> See how he's bragging now, the nine. He's, he's bragging, AIG. <laughs> very soon, Bunagano, you will hear the scores. Very, very soon. <laughs> very soon. Some of you have forgotten. It, Buhari cannot be intimidated into, into secession, into conceding. But Buhari, the same Buhari, the late dead one in the shallow grave in Saudi Arabia, may his soul rot beside Satan in hell. Queen Janja, with the worst of its kind. Uh, I thank Sarah reporters for this, of course. It's a flashback. Buhari backed amnesty for Boko Haram terrorists. Buhari in 2013 condemned good luck Jonathan for clamping down on terrorists. Boko Haram. <laughs> Ay, dear me, oh dear me. <laughs> Are you following me? I am reminding Garuba Shehu, all of you Janjaweed idiots in this so called caliphate presidency you have in Asorok, with, uh, with the face of Buhari, but the body of Yusuf Abaka Mohammed from the Czech Republic. All you fools, I want to remind you in 2013, the same Buhari that you claim you are ruling with his name castigated Jonathan for fighting Boko Haram. Some of you do not know this, but it is true. It wasn't, in fact, the Fulani government that you have now never banned any Fulani terror group. Thank you very much, my dear boy. It is only my Facebook page in the whole world, Mazen Namdekan official. And before now, Mazen Namdekan is the only Facebook page in the world that hangs during a live broadcast. The only one in the whole world. You know, yesterday that our, uh, I wanted to have a discussion with my brothers, people, men that I respect very much. They didn't allow us to go on air. They kept cutting, they kept bombarding our link with requests, thereby pulling it down. They pulled it down eventually, and we weren't able to broadcast yesterday, or of course, to enlighten our people. Anytime they hear our name, they go into convulsion. Uh, it's only my Facebook page. Mazen Nam, the kind of official that hangs in the whole day. People do their live broadcast, no problem. Anytime I go there, <laughs> if I think that 
they have some people dedicated to monitoring my Facebook page. I think that's what I've done. But I love those who are watching on Instagram, people are watching on Twitter. Go and join Twitter and Instagram. I know that Instagram is for slaying. You have to look a bit, you have to dress a bit, okay. It uh, appear on Instagram, Makade Yamama, you know. You have to look a bit, you look a bit nice. You to try and make an effort. Go and open Instagram pages. Go and open Twitter. And there you can follow me uninterrupted, of course, before the zoo buys them over. I'm sure the zoo may buy them over later on. Go and tell... What's his name? What's Adam Mawala? Of ADF. That the same people he's talking rubbish against chased away Miyeti Allah. Whereas Miyeti Allah is the one he's going to beg for rent money to pay his rent in Abuja. Shameless people everywhere. Zoo President Muhammad Buhari, before he died, threw his weight behind the proposed amnesty for Islamic terror group Boko Haram, commanding the government for setting up a committee to look into the feasibility of granting amnesty to the sex members. As simple as that. Buhari? Are you hearing me? Your so called Buhari? Amnesty for Boko Haram murderers and killers. Murderers and killers are doctors of little children. Shameless Fulani and all those who are supporting them in the zoo. You have a woman, they are all of you. Oh, Biano, you pass all these idiots working for Fulani Janja with shame on all of you. Buhari here, you are saying kill your own people. Kill them. Whereas Buhari said, give amnesty to murderers and to killers, to savages who are terrorists. Do you think the world is stupid? It's only in the East that you invite full and people that are supporting and pampering terrorists to kill your own people. Shameless fools. People without shame. People without shame. But we must lecture them. We must lecture them. Kosovo, Bosnia, Montenegro, Slovenia, Chechnya, all these are free people today, free nations. They fought and they are free. In Africa, you have not seen war before. What stupid war is that? Is Israel not still fighting till today? Is America not at war? Israel has been fighting for over 3,000 years that we know them till today. They are in Gaza, they are fighting. Then the Golan Heights, they are fighting. After all, you read the Bible and you take nothing away from it. Kosovo, Bosnia, Montenegro, Slovenia, all these small nations, the smaller than, uh, than uh, Ogun State, they are all enjoying peaceful independence, making progress in various areas. While a crude, backward thinking, idiotic black African. Don't see any need to implement the will of the people to referendum. The will of the people must prevail. Because the voice of the people is the voice of God. Is it vox populi, vox du, isn't it? As they say in Latin, isn't it? In a democracy, in a republican system, the voice of the people is supreme. Not the voice of a cattle, not the voice of a cattle in Akinama, Nugawasa, in Fulani land. Cowards everywhere. Why can't we all rise up at once and say enough is enough of this funny rubbish? Every day you lament. Let me see read about one stupid lamentation again on Facebook. Stop them every night. We have shifts. You are not going to sleep. None of you is going to sleep. I don't want you to sleep. At night you will wake up, you will mount sentry. We allow them to come into our blood. And then we block their exit and kill all of them. Every village, every township, every neighborhood. That is the defense mechanism you must implement immediately. Let the world understand how serious we are. In an state, if you are a landlord and you've given house to any flannel janja weed, may, may, may Lucifer have mercy upon your, your darkened black soul because he won't, won't spare you either. Every time we are waiting for Europe, waiting for Europe to save us, this is black people. They never can save themselves. Never. 
Bosnia has a governor is free. Oh, this Croatia is free. But a black man is still waiting for a white man to give him a referendum. We take it by force. We must take it by force. And there are uh, a bubag or not alternative to police says who's the man. These are the people that you call your leaders. People that you call your leaders. There was something that um, Lai Mohammed said about this granting of asylum by the British. IPOB, if federal government may summon British envoy or Haneze Afanifere back UK government. <laughs> Let me read something for you, please. The federal government of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria on Tuesday expressed anger over a plan by the United Kingdom to offer asylum to persecuted members of the indigenous people of Biafra. The Minister of Information and Culture, al Hajilai Mohammed, in an interview with the news agency of Nigeria in Abuja, said the plan was disrespectful to Nigeria as a nation. And this very man went on to say, I want to quote verbatim what he said. He said, the federal government of Nigeria a few years ago designated IPOB, which was formed in 2012 by Namde Kano as a terrorist organization. In the, in the guideline, they went on to talk about the guideline that the UK have issued and all the rest of it. But what I want to, to say is exactly what this idiot Lai Mohammed said. He said, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs will definitely take up the asylum offer to IPOB with the British High Commission. The government, listen carefully, may summon the British High Commissioner and demand an explanation for the decision which is totally inappropriate and a form of support for the proscribed group. They are saying that the UK is now supporting us because there was something I said to you people before about white people, especially Britain. In as much as I'm British myself, I hold their passport, of course, but I'm an Anglophile. Because Britain is, should I say England in those days, is one of the countries of the world where men of conscience still exist. It doesn't matter how bad their government is. In the United Kingdom, you, you will always find people that will speak the truth. It was the UK that banned slavery before any other person. It was the UK that officially documented asylum. Of course, we had it before anybody else. It was the UK that officially said in the history of mankind, if you're fleeing persecution and your leg, your feet touches the land of England, you're a free man. It was the United Kingdom, should I say, English people that offered asylum to the Huguenots of France. These are Protestants during the persecution by the Catholics in France. So there, are, there, are our, there will always be a group of decent, god fearing honest English people at all times in life. You always have them. They don't support evil. Not all of them. I told you this thing before. That no matter how bad the Katona Lang is, no matter how bad their government is, there are people with conscience in the United Kingdom. Always, always. And they will stand for the truth. It was UK that brought down apartheid. Not black people. White, English, white British people destroyed apartheid. They mounted a vigil in front of South Africa House in Trafalgar Square, in London, every blessed day for over 10 years, until apartheid collapsed. White people destroyed apartheid, not blacks. Some of them have risen to say, these people are being persecuted. Some of you don't know how hard we work. We are relentless, you know. Hey, I'm banana. We are unstoppable. Every blessed day, we continue to bombard them with information, saying this is what they are doing. And finally, they accepted it. That that is the truth. And this is something that our people must and need to understand. That we are relentless. Consistency is the key. I said it from the beginning. Once you're consistent, you win. I, I read in England, so I know how it works. I know how it works. In the end, we're going to win. As long as we remain resolute. Consistent and unrelenting unrelenting, we're not going to stop. We're going to win. In that interview, Lai Mohammed said, let me say straight away that the issue is within the purview of the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs. I'm sure he will handle it appropriately. 
But as the spokesman for the federal government of Nigeria, I will say, uh, what is he saying? Uh, uh, asylum to, 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 to IPO, persecuted IPOB family members. If it is true, then something is wrong somewhere. If they tell you that Britain will come around to say this one day, will you believe it? Because there are people even within the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, good British people, honest, decent people, trusting the truth. And I commend them for this. You know, when you do something that is good, we commend you. You do something that is evil, we condemn you. But uh, I say thank you very much, but no thanks. We don't need asylum, we need a referendum. And they're saying that um, uh, that they are angry with Britain. That, that uh, what Britain did is not good. Uh, we are going to do something about it. But it was Britain that created you. <laughs> Imagine questioning God. I mean, is that possible? I'm not saying that Britain is God, but in the case of Nigeria, they created Nigeria. So, insofar as the zoo, Nigeria, uh, Nigeria is concerned, they are your gods. Imagine questioning somebody that created. Does it make any sense? Imagine Lai Muhammad going into a meeting, shouting, uh, Britain, why did you do this? Britain will ask them, who are you? You say, oh, I'm, I'm the Minister for Information for Nigeria. They tell him to shut up and sit down. We created Nigeria. In other words, we created you. So you are nobody. Sit down. Don't tell us what to do. The idiot, I'm sure, will sit down. Imagine full and shouting all over the place. Hey, what Britain is this is not good. Hey, what UK did, if it is true. Imagine al that came from Senegal. That Britain gave power to. To manage their, as a caretaker. To make sure that the oil and gas is flowing. Until Chukwu Kikabiyama determined that we should come. That we should come and do the needful. I want to know, I want to let Lai Mohammed understand this. That Britain has the right to do whatever it likes in Nigeria. All of you Nigerians must listen very carefully. Britain has the right to do as it wishes in Nigeria. They created you. They are your creator. You see, God created all of us. That's why he, has, he determines when we live and when we die. Britain is your creator. If you don't know, they created you. Without Britain, you will be another aging monkey in a forest somewhere in a lorry. I'm referring to Lai Mohammed. Without Britain, you'll be swinging from tree to tree like a baboon in a forest somewhere near a lorry where you come from. Britain made you who you are. Without the United Kingdom, the name Nigeria would have been obliterated from the world map a long time ago. Britain saved you in 1967. So you must be grateful to them. Be guided in your uncouth utterances. All the billions of dollars Nigeria government has been spending on cause utterances, this is a waste. All the money they have been paying everybody, lobbyists, everybody, paying even some lawmakers in the UK. They give them money to lobby and to do everything. It's all in vain. Do you know why it's in vain? Because God is with us. God is the God of IPOB. He is with us. The God of Biafran people. It is with us. He is with us. He can never abandon us. Never, ever, ever. Why do you think we pray every day? You think we pray every day uh, like oh, one of these Pentecostal criminals because we want to put up a show? Because God can see in our heart that it is clean and very pure. And he said, go forth. I will fight your battles for you ahead of you. I will destroy your enemies behind you. I will protect your right flank and your left flank. For as long as you walk in righteousness, I am the Lord your God. I will protect you. As my mother used to sing to me. That is what I believe in and that's what I do. And Elohim is fighting his battles. Are you not going to be fighting your battles? Are you not going to be fighting him? Are you not going to be fighting your battles? Are you not going to be fighting your battles? Are you not going to be fighting your battles? They even went to our consultants in Washington and bribed them and paid them twice what we are paying them. Yet all that is in vain because Elohim is on his throne in heaven presiding over the affairs of men on this very earth. And this very noble family, this IPOB, is his. That is why we are whiter than white and whiter than snow. Anything we touch turns into gold. We did something that governors with all their security budgets could not do for three years. Couldn't do for three years. We did. With nothing. I, I will say with something. 
because God is with us. Elohim is with us. And that is why we pray every day to him. For me, seven times a day, I pray. Seven times a day. A country where a terrorist is a minister. You have the right to castigate those agitating for their freedom. I mean, come on. You people should at least have some shame in you. It is the northern government that should review, should I say, the Janjaweed government of the north that should review its relationship with the zoo, if you don't know. Because this government is not the government of the south. We say we don't want it in the east. Our do the white brethren have said they don't want them in the west. It's the only middle brother that we're waiting for to rise up. Instead of these little, dirty, filthy-looking, smelly rats from the mosque to be, uh, to be campaigning for, for Arewa Republic, all these youths, they are busy practicing Sharia law. When Obasanjo gave you Sharia law, didn't you, know, didn't you agitate for it? The same way we are agitating for freedom. Did you not agitate for Sharia law? Did Obasanjo not give it to you? Did Obasanjo roll out the army and the tanks to kill all of you? Go and live in your country where Sheikh Gumi can negotiate with bandits and terrorists. Where you can live a life without drinking beer. That is your business. In the South, we drink beer. And you are in the same country. In a part of the country, you cannot drink beer. In another part of the country, oh, you people are foolish. This UG, my people everywhere. With that, we have come to the end of our program this very morning. Not to the end of it. I want to see if I can take a few calls. I want to see if I can open our lines and take just very few calls, please. Try to call on, should I say, signal. I want to take one or two calls. I promised you to be interactive this morning after my gospel, or should I say the gospel of heaven. But uh, let me reiterate what I said uh, by way of recap. I do not want any movement of vehicles in Anambra State from 12 midnight to 4 a.m. in the morning. If we see you, you're finished. Because that is when they come to kidnap our people. I want every landlord to go back and make sure that those living in his or her building are legitimate people, not those that the Janjaweed brought to spy on us. I am warning each and every one of you. Be very careful in Anambra State. I'm also warning Willie Obiano for the nonsense you uttered yesterday, you will see hell. I assure you of that. Nah. I have a caller on the line. This caller, you're very lucky this morning, or should I say afternoon or night, depending on where you are. Your name, please, and where you're calling us from, if you may. Good morning, my Apple leader, Marzen Namdi Uku Kalo, Amadika Worldwide. You live long. I'm calling from India. From India? Uh, yes, go ahead. Yes, I, I have special uh, say to our people from Anambra West concerning this Anambra election. And uh, for one reason, I don't think I will be able to call my name. Go ahead. Um, I urge everybody from Anambra West consigning this Anambra state election. Don't allow anybody to use you or use any of your family member to come in for campaign. Anambra West... There will be no campaign. You are going too far. I have announced it. There will be no campaign. I'm not even talking about voting. You know, before we say, oh, don't vote. Don't vote. Don't vote. No, 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 no. If they, if they want people to go to Anambra to vote, they must remove hopes of them and call for fresh elections in Imo State so we can trust the process. Do you understand me? As simple as that. Let me take this other call. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Your name and where you're calling from. The caller on the line, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me, please? Your name and where you are. The caller on the line, can you hear me? On signal. Plus four four, ending in ending in eight zero eight. Can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. Maybe the calls are too much, and understandably so. Understandably so. Understandably so, I the calls are too many. Oh my goodness! Let me try and take this one. The caller on the line, can you hear me now? Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you're calling us from? My name is I'm calling from Hungary. From Hungary, 
Do we have a family? Of course, we have a family hungry. Is it, does IPA be hungry? Is that correct? No, sir. There is no. No family. Yeah. We are. We are just few. But I, I'm a member. I'm a member of IPOB in London. Oh, in London. So you went to Hungary. Yes. Please go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mazze, thank you for the good work you are doing for us. And uh, please, Mazze, I, I just something you said this morning. And this Okon, that, that's my man. That's my. That's the reason why I'm calling this Okon. This uh, AG of police or something. I don't know what, what whatever is called his name. Mazze, this man must get rid of. This man, this man must be got rid of because this is not the first time he is saying such thing. He has said it before, and they even uh, we have forgotten. We have forgotten last time he said rubbish, and he got scot free. Man, this man must get rid of. We want get rid of him. No problem. We must. We've taken it on board. We give the order. We should give the order. This man must. We must get rid of him, please, sir. Thank, Thank you very you, much. Sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The caller on the line.